Okay, this is my this is my team's senior project for DeVry University to get our bachelor's in game simulation programming. It was done by me and four other people. And then this is our main screen here. Also this was done X and A. And I'm currently using the Xbox 360 controller to demonstrate this. This could also be used with the keyboard. And here we go. This is our main menu. From here you can go to the control screen, see what the buttons are for both options and so on, so you know what you're doing. And we got ourselves a help screen here to explain the HUD and what everything means and hopefully give you a general sense of how you got to play. And then we come back to here, then we also have credit screen to see our group members and exactly what their main main uh, assignments were, if you would, during the programming of this. And let's start. Yeah, this is our game here. Uh, the main goal is let's to go. escort the guys on the left to the right. Now the thing is there would have been a tower there and then imagine them with like explosives going to the tower to blow it. Let's go. Unfortunately because of time constraints let's go. and other things that need let's to be done to get it up and working, we weren't able to get a graphical representation of that let's go. incorporating into the game. Let's uh, go. The thing is is that let's depending go. on where you hit on the D-pad or the keyboard, they will spawn let's corresponding go. with the arrows let's go. on the left. So if I hit right on the D-pad, it's on the left. On the bottom, let's go. if I hit up, you'll see it'll spawn let's on the go. top. I hit down, you'll see it spawn go. where the, the arrow is. Let's go. There's a victory. victory. And there is two loss conditions, which is the death of the player, or running out of units. Now that was the first screen, let's go to the boss. The speed of the boss himself, and let's go. his animation, if you would, was actually completely accidental. All let's I did was up his speed, he's still let's working on the same movement algorithms and code let's go. as the allies and let's go. enemies are. And the thing let's is, go. the ally units in here is that they will not die if let's they reach the end, they just kind of continue along the let's pathway. Go. And they keep flipping through different paths until let's they go. die or whatever, but they will keep going forever let's until go. the end of time if no one touches them. And as you can see here, the let's end goal go. for this is just to destroy the boss. So soon here. Victory! And I will demonstrate the loss condition for the player unit real quick so you can see the loss screen and then we do have that in place. Let's go! And then also with some of the sounds, we did want to add more variety. But once again, because of time constraints, we kind of came down to it and we had to scrap it and just kind of leave it where it's at. You lose! And then as you can see, the enemy units do Let's have go. player tracking. Let's go! They'll keep following me as long as I stay in the range, and then once I go out of their range, they'll go right back to their pathing and searching for Let's go. allies. And then as you can see, they'll Let's go. until well, one of them is dead. Let's go! And then that is pretty much our senior project. Let's go! It took about four Let's months to complete from beginning to end, and this is actually our first time Let's go. using X and A, so I think it's quite an accomplishment. Let's go! So being the first time using and learning this programming language to get this one. Let's go! All the art assets were Let's done go. UDK and ZBrush and Paint.net. Let's go. Paint Let's go. And then what we what we would end up doing Let's go. is actually take picture scheme. What we end up doing Victory. is the 3D models in those tools, and then we take the JPEG pictures of them and then implement them in there. And then that is our project. Thank you for watching, and I hope you liked it.